Hi, my name is John Aschenbach. I'm president of Resource Supply LLC out of Tigard, Oregon. Today I want to talk about the NAIP imagery. That's National Agriculture Imagery Program. It's put on by the uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture and we're very fortunate. We've got all uh, 48 lower states are covered with imagery and, and pretty much every single county and every state is covered. Most of Hawaii is covered and a large part of Alaska is covered. Uh, for the most part this imagery is one meter resolution. It's uh, flown with uh, airplanes and the airplanes have like satellite sensors in them so it's all collected digitally. But it's flown at, uh, at least has been flown at one meter resolution. It's orthorectified imagery and then color. Now this year we have a, uh, Idaho was flown this last summer in 2013 with half meter resolution. And that's pretty exciting because it means there's four times as many pixels and we have a lot better resolution. Now the imagery is, is flown, it's, it's collected by the contractor, they orthorectify it, and then they put it in a Mr. Sid format. And Mr. Sid's actually an acronym. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it stands for, but uh, it's a format of imagery that's developed by Lizard Tech out of uh, the state of Washington. The beauty of the Mr. Sid format is that it's very efficient in terms of letting you have large files and be able to deal with them very quickly. You can have a, a file that's three or, or more gigabytes in size and you can actually zoom into it and zoom in again and zoom in again and as you zoom into it you'll get more and more definition but it only has to deal with the portion that it's actually looking at. It ignores the rest of it. Now the the real significance of the Mr. Sid format is that we can actually bring up this imagery on pocket PCs using ArcPad and we can take a file that's normally three gigabytes uh, and we can actually bring it up into ArcPad. Now to get it to a stage it'll come up into ArcPad I actually run it through a program called GeoExpress Tools and I compress it at a higher compression ratio. At 100 to 1 compression ratio, these 3 gigabyte files will run beautifully in ArcPad and you have very, very little waiting time to uh, be able to use them. Now, I have every county in Oregon, uh, and that's 2012 imagery. I have every county in Washington, which was flown in 2013. That's one meter resolution. And then I also have every county in Idaho that was flown in 2013 at half meter resolution and I think the future is going to be that they're going to use half meter resolution for all the upcoming flights at least that's what I've been told. This imagery is wonderful to work with it uh, runs in ArcView, ArcPad, ArcGIS, MapInfo, uh, a lot of different varieties of AutoCAD. Anything that can read a Mr. Sid file image format can read this imagery. And you can actually get online viewers at no cost that uh, that allow you to look at the imagery with uh, uh, you know being able to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, so if you want to just look at the imagery, you certainly can do that. Now the imagery that I get is in a it's distributed per county, and each county is uh, called a CCM. That's a compressed county mosaic. So when I download that that imagery. I actually have the CCM file. It's, it's the entire county and then I run it through GeoExpress tools and I uh, uh, compress it to a higher compression ratio. That allows me to look at it in ArcPad on the data collectors. Uh, the other thing relative to the the resolution, you know, you do have a limit in terms of how far you can zoom in but you'll be amazed at how good the imagery looks in ArcPad and ArcGIS as long as you don't zoom in to too high of a level. This imagery comes in UTM coordinates. It's Universal Transverse Mercator meters. And what I do with the imagery and what I've done with Oregon, Washington, and Idaho is that I've taken the imagery and I've not only compressed it so that it'll run in data collectors, I also transform it so it runs in different coordinate systems. So I'll have uh, the state of uh, Oregon, I'll have it in Oregon North Zone State Plane Coordinates, Oregon South Zone State Plane Coordinates, plus UTM, both in the high resolution and the low resolution version. 
I've done with this, this with the state of uh, Washington and the state of Idaho. The other thing that if uh, people need this imagery uh, compressed and if they need to have it uh, available to them for other states, I do this all the time. I'll actually take uh, counties for wherever they work, whether it's Missouri or uh, Texas or wherever, and I'll take those counties and I'll uh, transfer them so they can work in their uh, arc pad on their machines and, and when they turn on the GPS they'll have that as a background. I charge $40 per county so it's really inexpensive and makes it a great product for people to use with arc pad. This imagery works beautifully in ArcView, ArcGIS, and ArcPad. And you can see on the screen here, I've got the imagery that's showing a Washington Department of Natural Resources timber sale with the county mosaic in the background. And I can actually zoom out to where I have the, uh, uh, the entire timber sale showing up on that. Uh, if I zoom into it, it zooms in very quickly on a PC. I can zoom into any portion of it. You can see the refresh rate is very, very quick. As I get into it further and further, you're going to see that it starts to pixelate. But even at that, for most of what we do, this imagery is very, very good resolution. You do have to be careful about the horizontal placement accuracy. This compressed county mosaic imagery sometimes has errors in terms of horizontal placement accuracy of 20, 30, 40, 50 feet. And if you're out there with a GPS unit in ArcPad and, and the, the unit says you're in a particular uh, location and you see the imagery is slightly off, your GPS is accurate. The imagery does have an issue when you're away from urban areas because it does not have as much, uh, they don't have as much capability for doing the orthorectification. In general, it's incredibly handy out in the field because it just works so well, allowing you to have entire counties up at one time where you can zoom in, zoom out, and look at large expanses. 